two minute game. Spoil the pawn. Scrap. All simple stuff getting to preparing for castling king safety. But then obviously looking at maintaining that castling as we're going through. Let's go here. It's castle. See what the bishop wants to do. Okay, actually captures. So we've got the two bishops. Not that it means anything to me. But they're all equal in my book, the knights and the bishops. Queen's protecting. It's opened up space around his king. So I'm actually going to bring the bishop here, enticing the knight to capture, but he doesn't. I'm going to push onto the pawn again, trying to open up space around the king. If they choose to, they might not choose to. If they don't, then I suppose our pawn can take and if his pawn takes then we, we sort of win an extra pawn so I think they probably are going to take okay so that's opened up space around their king quite nice for us how do we work with that then that's the key thing because we've taken away the second protector on this pawn trying to get the rooks into the game now as well So he's captured, so the queen can now come into the king's area. He's going to be looking to bring his queen back into the game, you know, closer towards his king. So he's not done that, he's brought the knight, so we could take the pawn or we could push the pawn further up, putting more pressure, because we do have a two on one with the queen and the bishop on this pawn. So I think the queen is coming here to protect, so it's got a two on one with the king and the queen. So we have to do a bit more work, potentially coming here, or we could just simply take this pawn off the board, but the queen is going to take. I think they've missed an opportunity here because I don't know if the king can escape now. Well, I suppose it can because my, qu my queen doesn't have a further attack can come here with the bishop attacking their queen but then the pawn just drops if the pawn drops then our queen can come here with a check I suppose also he can come with his knight as well but if he comes with his knight we've got a two on one because the bishop bishop can take the knight so they do actually drop and what did we say we could do the queen can come here with a check on the king it's not a finishing move per se, but it's something. So we'll put a check on the king. And we could then move this here, but I just think it's not going to be fast enough. So the rook is going to come here. Yeah, it's kind of got no meat on the bones per se. It looks good. So it's, it's a draw. If I want it to be a draw, it'll be a draw. Moving the queen backwards and forwards like that. I'm trying to find a win. And I don't think... If the bishop takes this pawn, it makes no difference. Because the rook is still going to come here and attack. And I can't take this pawn because his knight and his queen are protecting. We do have space here. But that's not good enough. So we go there, rook comes here. This is a shame. Rook comes there. Queen goes here. I 
this queen just comes to attack us yeah I think it's just a draw which is a shame because you know we've done all this work to attack the king area but I just can't see that there's a unless of course we go here then he goes there no I just can't get my rooks up unless of course I'm being very impatient so he's moved if I move the rook up These rooks just going to attack our queen. And then we get checkmate. <laughs> okay. But I think his queen is going to come down here, isn't it? It's going to spoil the show. Going to try it anyway. His queen should come there. He's not done the queen move since we mentioned the queen being able to defend. So he might not do that. He may just go for the obvious and then get himself checkmated. He's gone for the queen. So do we have time to bring the rook across? Because if his queen then comes to here, we'll be able to go check like that, won't we? So I'm going to bring the rook here. So we're going to get a check on the king no matter what. And if the queen comes to defend, he loses his queen. Oh, he's gone for the rook. Damn, damn, damn. So we take his rook comes here. Oh, this knight is protecting everything. Oh, I thought we had it sewn up. So what if we move the king? But then his rook just comes and attacks uh, attacks us. And we come here with a check on his king, but his king can move here onto a dark square. there's something there okay let's go for it rook goes and so we see the position is there anything different bishop takes knight takes bishop takes or maybe queen takes Feel like I'm losing out on stuff. That bishop's right in front of his pawn as well, you know. So he can take my bishop at any stage. Rook takes, queen takes. Bishop takes with a check. Knight takes, queen takes with a check. Hmm, interesting. Interesting positionally. Knight takes, takes with a check. Win a pawn. King's on the other side of the... Uh, how many pawns do we have? We've got like a pass pawn here. Well, two pass pawns. And he could make something of that situation. Do we just take another pawn? Yeah, let's take another pawn and that, and just uh, uh, they know what they're doing. Damn. F 
three minutes to six minutes. Okay, I'm gonna take this. I'm only feeling there might be the slightest of advantages with these past pawns, but they can, it can easily fall if he. Um, okay, let's go here. If I can just get him to think about something else, and it doesn't look like he is, but. Giving him this file so he can come down and uh, it's gonna get a bit better. Yeah, look at that. I've given him that file. Maybe I shouldn't have done. is hidden behind my own pawns. Now that was very testy indeed. Did not like that one bit. Crikey sake, that must have been an up and down game of the maximum order. Yeah, they very, very, very slippery indeed. I don't think I played it right at that end though. I think there was a little bit of a question that I needed to put to myself. 
it was the exchange of the queen bit. I thought I felt more confident that I had the pass pawns. I thought, well, I might as well just exchange the queen, but maybe I didn't need to. It's just that he's got these big guns. I could have maybe just grabbed the pawn. Actually, the gauge bar went down a little bit then, didn't it? Let's see if taking was the right thing. Minus 4, minus 4.9. Yes, yeah, so it's happy with that. Minus 5.9 it is at the moment. So if we went and grabbed that, it's minus 3. End game bit that I messed up because we've had two pass pawns and I think maybe I got into a bit of a flap. Minus 4, that's fair enough. Okay. So at this point here, we played the king. It's minus 7, minus 5.8. It's okay with the king move. It's okay with the capture. I think it's the minus 4 point something. Okay, so it doesn't like the rook owning this file. Maybe I This rook's just going to come down and peel stuff off, isn't it? Maybe it was supposed to come this side. Oh, minus seven. Ah. Maybe we're supposed to come this side and protect. Then we've got all of this stuff attacking the king, keeping the pressure on the king. Yes, we went against the system, didn't we, in a sense? Because we went owning the file, but really the idea is about pressure in the king area. And if we'd have just taken that little step to go, where's his king? We've got two pass pawns. Let's enhance that position. Nice one. I'm going to remember that one. Fantastic.